Okay, here with Brian Head Basketball Coach Andrew Lacey as Blue Devils win it by a count of 74 to 51 of the Norcom Greyhounds here in session two of the 11th annual VirginiaPreps.com basketball classic to move to 15 and 0 overall coach and 37 consecutive wins. It's the longest streak currently in the state. Does it feel like it's been 37 straight? No, it doesn't. Um, it kind of feels like it's 15. And like this year, you kind of had that break after the state tournament, and then you come back and you forget counting. You just start this year over. And being fresh, you're just trying to be one game, one day better, one game better than you were the next day. And somebody else for those fans and those historians, they keep track of all the tallies. Yeah. Well, coming off an emotional rivalry game, packed house against Henrico last night, you win that one. Coming to today, you know Norcom's got that reputation, though they haven't had the teams they've had in the past. Were you a little worried about how the guys might come out today? And um, based on how we've been this year. I was a little bit concerned about playing a tough game last night and it being so late. Mm -hmm. Then we get off, then we would turn around playing at 540. We had some guys that were cramped up last night. So I was kind of worried about how my guys were kind of, you can tell the worry, kind of how we play defense. Um, if you've seen us play before, mm -hmm. you kind of know we, we really want to get after you and, and be up in your face. So we kind of kept that away tonight. Anthony Williams, your sophomore, 20 points, 8 of 16, four threes, three assists, and his demeanor never really changes on the court, does it? No. I think he, he with this bunch, some nights he's going to be there and he's going to do what he does and he's pretty much, you know, consistent there. And other nights, you know, he, he does stuff, does stuff he's not. So I'm very, very proud of him. Um, last night, he, he had, like, nine last night. He struggled a little bit from the field. But his confidence in his shot and his game um, was there. So he got himself going tonight, and I'm very, very proud. You know, he, he what was really, your really He's your other sophomore last night that did it, right? Man, Jason Nelson, 11 points, yeah. five assists today, no turnovers. He's really coming to his own, and they play off each other pretty well right now, right? right. Yeah, man, it's, it's great. Um, we say all the time in the coaching world, you know, in this day and age where everybody wants to press and press and press, if you can put two ball handlers on the floor at the same time, it eliminates that. You know, we probably put four on there any given time they can bring it up. But then when you have two, they can really knock down outside shots and be threats. It's really, really helpful um, to keep them off the other guys, you know, down low and double team and water shape. And so they play off each other well and it really, it really adds another dimension to us. Identical numbers almost across the board for Tyrese Jenkins and Kennard Richardson. 12 points, 12 rebounds for both of them. Um, Tyrese, his role this year, accepting of, last year was the state player of the year, he can be that guy that goes out and gets 28 and 15, or he can be the guy that just blends in, plays his role. Is that something that makes this team so unique and him special as well? Or You, like I told my guys, my coaches the other day, he was past week and a half for him since the Hollow Springs Friday night. He went 21 at Hollow Springs, 22 last Saturday at Kingsford, and he came back with 15. Um, on Tuesday, and then he kind of, I mean, on Wednesday with Freeman, and he came back last night. I think he had 16 or something last night. And then tonight, he's now becoming consistent. Okay. And now that he's becoming consistent in what he does, you forget that he was player of the year because he's not putting up guard numbers. But we look around him, the pieces from last year have matured, mm -hmm. and those guys have grown in their game. So he doesn't really have to do as much as he did last year. Do you think the team arrived a year ahead of schedule last year, looking back at it a little bit? Or do you not even get caught up in that? You're just so driven on the one day at a time, what, when the I'm, moment I'm, now? I'm driven on okay. one day at a time, not getting too far ahead. So I think each day, if you ask us in the locker room, we're going to tell you like we deserve to be there. I think sure. we deserve to win the state championship, so I don't think we were moved early, arrived okay. early. Those are for the people who didn't really know much about Verona being young. But those, the way those kids work in the offseason, mm -hmm. it's there. Now to see how they respond, you know, the target on their back, and they come in each day and that motto of every, every day we got to get better and better, and they they practice that way, they play that way. So I think they don't really care. They know Monday through Friday, as long as I'm doing the same thing every day, yeah. then the results will come. Sure. Last one, we kind of had this conversation with the Highland Springs football coach, you know, chasing kind of history, you know, with, with championships. And I know you want to, hey, Matt, I'm caught on one, but has this team talked about like kind of going unbeaten or leaving a, a legacy greater than just a state championship? Because, you know, you win one, people know that. You win multiple, you're kind of remembered forever in that type right. of sense. I mean, what do you guys internally kind of talk about and what are the things that kind of jump out to you about this group? Uh, we talk about tradition. Um, we talk about leaving your legacy at Verona. So anything that you can put on a wall that's there, it will always be there. So the school can get a new building. They're going to put the year, they're going to put the number that you left there. So you talk about making a difference in how you can change the culture at your school. That's what we talk about. How that looks to each person is different. 
Um, so for us, we're just fortunate enough, you know, they, they talk about we won 37 straight as the longest one. They're putting that, they're adding another thing into their legacy box they got. So each day they're developing their legacy and they're producing it. So we talk about that. Everything else that falls into that place, we just want to leave a great mark. When our time is done, we just want to leave it better than we found it. So in essence, you're not running from it, but it's not something that you're constantly right on. Because if that, if that becomes your focus, then you really lose the focus of getting better. You're chasing something that may never, that you don't really control. And all we control is how we work each day. Well, congrats on the win. The Blue Devils are unblemished, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.